Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go through one-step equations with fractions. And in this video, I'd like to cover addition, subtraction, division, and then multiplication. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we have k plus 1 and 3 eighths equals 3. Well, we know to undo the multiplication because we want to get k by itself, we will subtract. So we will subtract 1 and 3 eighths from both sides. Okay, 3 minus 1 and 3 eighths. Now, what we need to do, these cancel. So we have K. So let's focus on this side. And I'm going to show you two ways to complete this. The first thing you will do is place 3 over 1 and convert this to an improper fraction. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11 eighths. Okay. Now what we need to do is find a common denominator, and the common denominator is 8. So I will multiply 3 times 8, and 1 times 8, and then we're going to subtract that from 11 eighths. When we do that, that gives me 24 eighths minus 11 eighths, which equals 24 minus 11 is 13. 13 eighths. And if you'd like, you can convert this into 8 goes into 13 one time with 5 left over because 13, uh, excuse me, yes, 13 minus 8 is 5. Okay, okay, here's another technique you can use. It will work. And notice how I'm to the point where it's 3 minus 1 and 3 eighths. Well, what you do is you look at the denominator of this uh, fraction. And what you do, you know that a number over, it, over itself is 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1 from the 3, so I'll make it 2, and then I'm going to put 8 over 8. Because we know that 8 over 8 is 1, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So then what we're going to do is we just subtract. So now we have 2 minus 1 is 1. 8 minus 3 is 5, and then all over 8. So that's another technique if you would like. Okay, let's look at this next one and notice that we have subtraction. So in order to undo subtraction, we're going to add 2 and 1 third to each side. Okay. Now we know that Negative 2 and positive 2 and 1 third, they will cancel, so we will bring the m down. So now let's focus on this side. What we're going to do here is we're going to convert both of these to an improper fraction. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. I call that the circle trick because you're going in a circle. Okay, and we'll do the circle trick here. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7 thirds. So now we need to find a common denominator, which uh, for 2 and 3 is 6. So I'm going to call that the CD is 6. So let's rewrite this. 2 goes into 6. Well, let me rewrite. We have 3 over 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times. So we will multiply both of these times 3. Plus 3. This 3 goes into 6 2 times. So we'll multiply both of these times 2. When we do the math, I'll bring it down one more time. So that is 3 times 3 is 9. That is 6 plus 14 over 6. Because 7 times 2 is 14, let's make sure we see where we get these numbers. 7 times 2 is 14. 3 times 3 is 9. And then we have 6, and then all we do is just add them. 9 plus 14 is uh, 20. 3 over 6, and then uh, if you would like, you convert it in, you can go 6 into 23, goes 3 times, and that's 18, and then 23 minus 18 is equal to 5, so it is 3 and 5, 6, if you would like, okay? Depends on what, how you want your answer, but both of these are correct.
Okay, with this next problem, we have division. So, you know, in order to undo division, we're going to try some multiplication. First thing let's do, let's uh, go ahead and convert this to an improper fraction. Remember the circle trick. So, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7 fourths equals 4. Okay, now what we're going to do is we have division, so now we're going to convert that to multiplication. And so, we're going to go... We want the coefficient of the x to be 1, so we're going to go, we're going to multiply it by its coefficient, excuse me, by its reciprocal, and that will equal 1. I'm going to place 4 over 1 and multiply it also by the same thing, and that is the reciprocal of 4 over 7. Okay, now let me do the math for you. 7 times 4 is 28, and 7 times 4 is 28, and we know that that equals 1, so now we have the coefficient of x. We have 1 in front of the x like we would like and so now uh, let me go ahead and move this down so you can get an understanding of what we're doing. So now what we need to do is x is equal to 4 times 4 is 16 1 times 7 is 7. So if you would like you can convert that into um, 7 goes into 16 2 times and 14, 16 minus 14 is 2 sevenths, okay? So let me show you real fast what I did. Uh, I took 7 and 16 divided by 7 goes like this, okay? 7 goes into 16 2 times, which is 14. That gives you a remainder of 2, and then I just placed that over 7. So that's how I got the 2 and 2 sevenths. So now let's move on to our last one, multiplication. Okay, our last one, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. What we'd like to do is we need for the coefficient in front of x to be 1. So in order to accomplish that goal, we can multiply 2 sevenths by its reciprocal, which is 7 over 2. Okay, and what we do to one side, we must do to the other, so 3 fourths times 7 halves. Okay. Now, here's why this works, because 7 times 2 is 14, 2 times 7 is 14, that becomes 1, so you get the coefficient in front of the x as a 1. Now, let's do this, 3 times 7, you know, in multiplication, you just multiply straight across, 3 times 7 is 21 over 8. If you would like, that can be converted into 8 goes into 21 2 times, which is 16. Now let's do this. 21 minus 16 is 5, and we have 8 as the denominator, so that becomes 5 8. So it is 2 and 5 8. So there's our answer. I hope that helps with one step equations with fractions. Thanks for watching, and Moving Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.